On October 29th, 2025, the interstellar comet known as 3I Atlas threaded behind the sun, surviving the intense heat of perihelion. Now, new signals hint at changes no one can fully explain. If this ancient visitor truly withstood everything our star could throw at it, what hidden forces still shape its journey? And what secrets might be waiting in the first data emerging from the solar glare? Earth's view of 3I Atlas was blocked by the sun for weeks. The comet's path carried it almost directly behind the solar disk from our perspective, creating a line of sight geometry that left ground-based telescopes blind. Even the most powerful observatories could do nothing as the comet slipped into the zone of solar glare, hidden by the overwhelming brightness of our star. This natural occlusion is a routine challenge for solar system surveyors who rely on precise orbital plots to predict when objects will vanish and reappear. Only space-based instruments positioned away from Earth's shadow could continue tracking the comet through this period of invisibility. Space-based instruments tracking. 3I Atlas, during solar conjunction, faced significant calibration hurdles. Stray light from the sun overwhelmed detectors forcing scientists to rely on careful photometric correction methods. Apparent brightness hovered near magnitude 9.5, but this figure carries large uncertainty due to the intense solar background and instrument-specific response curves. Data from SOHO, STEREO, and GOES-19 required background subtraction and cross-calibration, with each dataset subject to its own bias from vignetting and residual glare. These limitations mean that early magnitude estimates should be treated as provisional, with confidence in brightness trends improving only as the comet moves away from the sun's interference. All visuals in this documentary are for illustration and context. Images and animations of comets, solar encounters, and orbital paths represent 3i Atlas using generic science graphics and simulations. No actual photographs or direct images of the comet are available at this time. Footage shown is based on the best scientific understanding and is intended to help explain the data and concepts discussed. When possible, real observation data from space missions are referenced, but the visuals themselves are not direct captures of 3i Atlas. As dawn returned to the southern skies, amateur astronomers were the first to recapture 3i Atlas after its long absence. Reports began to circulate across online forums and mailing lists as faint images trickled in, each showing a soft, diffuse coma, barely brighter than the background stars. The tail was present but subdued, a narrow streak extending away from the sun with no sign of abrupt jets or dramatic outbursts. Photographic evidence from small backyard telescopes matched expectations. The comet remained faint with a magnitude near 9.5, and its appearance unchanged since its last observation before perihelion. Despite the technical challenges, this early reacquisition confirmed that 3I Atlas had survived intact, its basic structure unaltered by its solar encounter. The dedication of the amateur network provided the first ground-based proof that the comet's behavior remained within the bounds of known cometary activity. JPL dynamicists analyzed the post-perihelion trajectory of 3I Atlas using precise orbital models. Their calculations focused on the non-gravitational acceleration parameters, known as A1 and A2. These values describe how jets of gas and dust, driven by solar heating, subtly alter the comet's path. For 3I Atlas, both A1 and A2 fit within the expected range for active comets showing no sign of anomalies or artificial forces. The thrust is dominated by carbon dioxide outgassing, a process confirmed by spectroscopic data indicating a carbon dioxide to water ratio higher than any previously measured comet. The result is a natural, measurable deviation from a purely gravitational orbit, one that matches predictions from decades of comet science. The motion of 3I Atlas, as tracked by JPL, is fully explained by these physical processes, setting the stage for questions about how solar activity might further influence its behavior. 
On October 21st, 2025, a coronal mass ejection left the sun, sending a wave of plasma through the inner solar system. Heliophysics teams tracked its progress using data from SOHO, STEREO, and GOES-19, calculating the shock's likely path as it swept outward. The timing brought the CME near the orbit of 3I Atlas just days before perihelion, prompting comparisons to Rosetta's 67P encounter, where a similar shock led to a sharp spike in local magnetic fields. While no in-situ instruments traveled with the comet, modelers analyzed the data for any transient signatures, brief changes in coma brightness, plasma compression, or tail realignment. These efforts aim to separate the effects of solar wind pressure from the comet's own outgassing, building a clearer picture of how solar storms sculpt the plasma environment around an interstellar visitor. Charged dust particles released from 3I Atlas continue to drift and fragment, creating subtle flickers in the comet's brightness. This micro-fragmentation, triggered by solar radiation and plasma, is a normal part of comet evolution near perihelion. Without an in-situ probe, scientists rely on remote sensing and careful photometry to track these changes. A coordinated global observation plan is underway with both amateur and professional astronomers preparing for the best viewing windows. November brings the first clear dawn sightings. December offers closest approach and prime imaging, and January's planetary alignment promises new perspectives. Each observation helps refine our understanding of dust behavior and cometary physics. On October 29, 2025, 3I Atlas reached perihelion at approximately 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun, with space-based observatories like SOHO, STEREO, and PUNCH capturing its passage through the solar glare. As it re-emerged, ground-based telescopes confirmed a soft coma and muted tail, showing no dramatic outbursts. Analysis of its motion revealed non-gravitational acceleration consistent with natural outgassing as described by JPL's A1 and A2 parameters. The October 21st coronal mass ejection intersected its path, causing measurable plasma effects similar to those seen by Rosetta at Comet 67P. Still, without in-situ probes, the internal structure of 3I Atlas remains unresolved, and the details of its dust fragmentation are uncertain. As global observation campaigns continue through January, each data point refines our understanding of interstellar comets under solar extremes. The evidence shows that 3I Atlas is governed by the laws of physics, not artificial causes. Its survival and behavior remind us that even in the face of the unknown, methodical observation and patient analysis reveal nature's true story.